I hope it's recording. I know I dropped my stick. Hey guys, it's Let's Go Pet 17. Uh, I just lost what I was about to say. But let's just keep going because I have no time for all of this. So welcome to the first ever Hockey Talk. You have you've ever seen Steve Dangle? Yes, you probably have seen Steve Dangle. Uh, yeah, he is one of those guys from the Maple Leafs who talks about the Maple Leafs, talks about all the other hockey time, times. This is going to be similar to that, except it's not going to be for the Maple Leafs. It's going to be for um, all teams, basically, but most likely for my team, which you will find out in this video. I'm not telling you now. So, <laughs> people say that I am not a hockey fan. What? Not a hockey fan, huh? Well, let me, let, me, let me just clue you in on something. I've watched NHL for, like, the past... How long has it been now? I was not even first into hockey right now, so let me just, let me just clue you in on that. So I was not even into hockey. So, then I decided to start getting into hockey. And once I got into hockey, oh my gosh, it was the best years of my life. I got hooked on hockey about five years ago. And, yeah. I was been good. I got hooked on hockey in about 2010. And it didn't start showing up until I decided I got a mini hockey ring downstairs in my basement. Which my dad kicked me out because I started having too many games and I started bringing more stuff down there, and he started getting after me, so he kicked me out of there, so now I just play with pavement hockey and have my thing in my brother's room, which he's not too fond about, but hey, but I gotta have hockey, so, and let me just say, let me just say, for all you people who don't think I'm a hockey fan, don't think I know nothing about hockey, just you wait. So first of all, why am I wearing a Calgary Flames jersey? When I'm in northeastern Pennsylvania. Yes, I'm in northeastern Pennsylvania. That's where I live, thank you very much. So, Canada. Canada, you have, a, you have some good teams, I'm just saying. But just because you're the head of hockey doesn't mean you have to like a Canadian team. And let me just say this. I am not a Calgary Flames fan. So first of all, the Calgary Flames are pretty good. They made the playoffs, and they got eliminated by the Anaheim Ducks, which, by the way, should not have happened. They should have made the Stanley Cup Finals, or should have played the Chicago... They should have played Chicago and knocked them out. It should not have been Anaheim and Chicago. It should not have happened. Because that goal should not have counted. That overtime goal that knocked him out in Game 7 in Anaheim should not have happened. So there you go. I'm going to protect you there. But I'm not a Calgary Flames fan. So uh, let's just get rid of that. We'll get, you, we'll get into that soon. New Jersey. Okay. So, um, New Jersey. I got really nothing on New Jersey because they're not really that good this year. But back in the day, let's just go back in the day to like the 1990s, just maybe. Um, Marty Berdour. Marty Berdour was young back then. You guys won. I don't know if you guys won. I forget. But no, I know back in the day you were pretty good. Two thousand, early 2000s. 2012, you guys are recent. Um, you guys are really good, uh, but I'm not your guys. Colorado. Hello. <laughs> I know one thing. Now, currently, when you see Colorado Avalanche jersey, um, you always say, oh, I wonder who's on the back. Probably Matthew Shane, Nathan McKinnon, or maybe even that Picard kid, the goalie, who's starting to get pretty good, I, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, he's starting to get pretty good, and uh, let, let me just say, you guys are good, 
you guys were even good back then. Um, yeah, so I just, no, I just, I'm not feeling it. St. Louis. Okay, so St. Louis. Um, they were, they were good. I mean, um, I have nothing really to say. They've been making the playoffs lately. They've been really hot. Why did you trade TJ Oshi though? Why? It just gets me upset because you gave him to the Capitals. The Capitals of all people. They don't need nothing. They already have Alexander Semen. They have, let me see now, Justin Williams, Alexander Ovechkin, Braden Holpe, just maybe, just maybe, because, of course, TJ Oshi is necessary to go with the freaking Capitals. And yes, I just said freaking mom, so go ahead. Okay, that was weird. Alright, anyway, so I'm starting to get a little fired up, because it just fires me up every single time, because, why? And I'm not just pointing it all at the Blues, because, don't worry, there were a lot of other stupid trades, which we will get into, but I'm just going to share them, share them right now. Taylor Hall, just maybe, Taylor Hall, because he got traded to the Devils, to the devils. For who? For who? You all Google that up. I'm not telling you. Alright. And then think about this. P.K. Subban for Shea Weber. P.K. Subban is a star for Shea Weber, who hasn't even had nearly as much ice time. He hasn't nearly had enough slap shot power. His slap shot power is ranked at a, I believe now it is an 88. P.K. Subban hit some kid in the face once and broke his face. How do you break some kid's face with a slap shot? Now this... This is a soft puck right now. And even if Shea Weber shot this at some kid's face, wouldn't hurt. But if P.K. Subban did it, he would just break his face. P.K. Subban's got way more slap shot power, he's way more accurate, he has way more goals, I believe. Now, let me let me just check this on the Googleizer. Not to mention, there have been a lot of stuff. P.S. I got an instrument. Hockey fights, yeah. Alright, so first of all, let me just say that I am not a St. Louis Blues fan. No. <laughs> but... I liked you guys. In fact, I was a big Grant Fuhrer fan. And I was not even alive back then. Okay? So, think about it now. Okay? You've got a great goaltender. He's a five-time Stanley Cup champion. And the Red Wings eliminate you in the 1998 playoffs. What to say? What to say? So it's St. Louis Blues or no? Ah, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, they're my backup team. My dad and the rest of my family are Pittsburgh Penguins fans. On my dad's side. And so let me just say, um, I like the Pittsburgh Penguins. They're pretty good. Um, Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin. Chris Kunitz, Mark Andre Fleury, Matt Murray, Colin Kessel, who was traded from the Maple Leafs last season, and then they won the Stanley Cup that same year. Which is pretty good. I, I, let me just say. So, you've got all of these great players, and every almost every year you get eliminated by the Rangers, or the Bruins, or, if you're lucky, and you're in 2000, you get draft, you get um, eliminated by an unusual team, Ottawa, Toronto, Toronto, who gets eliminated out of Toronto, because Toronto doesn't even make the playoffs, sorry to the Toronto Maple Leafs, but you gotta do better, I've been seeing the past Steve Dangle videos, and let me just tell you something. Me and my hamster sit there at the computer and watch you guys. Watch Steve Dangle 
freak out about the Maple Leafs. Now, I've seen them. And P.S., that Montreal-Toronto game, oh my gosh. I saw the highlights for it. And yes, they could have tied it up in a bunch of, men, bunch of spots. And they never did. So, Penguins, they're my backup. But, ladies and gentlemen, my favorite team is the Dallas Stars. And I'm just saying. Because Dallas is the best right now for me. Because they have a lot. They made the playoffs the past... They made the playoffs last year. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. When they got eliminated by the Blues... What am I to do? Oh my gosh. You can ask my brother on his YouTube channel in the comments. Ask him, what ha what did I do? What did I do when the Dallas Stars lost? <sighs> I have a Calgary Flames decal up there. <sighs> and check it out. It's all dented now, because that's what I did. I used this very hockey stick and smacked that so hard I just started denting it and stuff. I'm trying to find the other one that I did. Was it in this room? I put a hole in the wall, a little tiny hole. Um, I took a nail and I just went bang, and I pulled it out. And I have a hole in the wall just to remind me of that little heart burn that I have every single time I bring up the Blues and the Stars playing against each other. I'm like, oh boy, gonna lose again. <sighs> but hey, we at least let's look at the bright side now. Because we have... Alright, so think about it now. Tyler Sagan. Jamie Benn. Patrick Sharp. Johnny Oduya. We've got Kari Lenton and Auntie Niemi, which I feel in this Vegas draft and Seattle, I think Seattle is going to have hockey and basketball again. I think Key Arena is going to be home to uh, hockey and basketball again. Uh, basketball, I can't wait for the Sonics because um, I was a Sonics fan until... They left, and then I couldn't like Oklahoma City. I just can't do it. So then I decided to like the Philadelphia 76ers, which I got out of one season. I, I kind of like lost out on basketball. Right? So, so in like 2007, the Seattle Sonics, um, they were really good. I, th in my opinion, they were pretty good. And, um, then they decided they were going to go out, and they were changing to Oklahoma City, which left Seattle broken-hearted. You cheated on me! Yeah, yeah, you did, for Oklahoma City. What? Oklahoma City is not even a sports world. You've got Seattle, which is home of the Seattle Mariners. You've got the Seattle Seahawks. You have the Seattle Sounders FC soccer team. You've also got minor league hockey teams in Seattle. You've got lots of stuff. You have lacrosse there now. You have Washington Stealth lacrosse team, which is now Vancouver. So you, so you decide, oh... There you go. Let's just go to Oklahoma City. What? Oh my gosh. No wonder the Oilers have the, had the Oklahoma City Barons when they were in there. Nobody likes Oklahoma City. Go back to Seattle. So when the Las Vegas, so let's go back to this. So in the Las Vegas draft and the Seattle hockey draft, if Seattle even does it, and I believe Quebec is there as well, when all of these things happen, um, I just can't wait because um, because I, I can't wait to see the Dallas Stars do something extremely stupid. Not to mention, because I already know they're going to do it. Stars, so help me if you let Jamie Benn or Tyler Sagan go. 
You gotta protect them. Here's one who I think we're gonna protect. I think I'm gonna protect the the two. Probably Johnny Oduya, Patrick Sharp, Jason Spezza, definitely, and Anti Niemi and Kari Lettinen. I think one of them is going to get taken. If not, we'll have them. Now, who I think we should have. I think now in penguins, peng we're talking penguins right now. I think that they're going to protect Crosby, Malkin, Kessel, and probably Cullen and Murray. If they protect Flurry, I'll be set. I'll be really happy, kind of, because come on, Mark Andre Flurry, you're my man, dude. You're awesome. Number twenty-nine of the Pittsburgh Penguins. I made some fifth grade. I loved it so much. And he got hurt. This is all stressing me out. But of course, the Dallas Stars are not going to win the cup this year. I mean, come on. So, yeah. So we're just going to get over that now. So now we're going to get an even longer video. What else do I have to prove that I'm a hockey fan? I've got lots of memorabilia. So let me see. I got a Penguins jersey. I got a Dallas Stars jersey. I have nothing under a PS except for a Pittsburgh Pirates thing, which is my favorite baseball team. I got a St. Louis Blues jersey. I got a New Jersey Devils jersey. I got a Colorado Avalanche jersey. I have a Calgary Flames jersey. I have a goalie mask. I made the Stanley Cup. Who doesn't make the Stanley Cup out of tin cans and then just raise it up over your head when you beat your brother in street hockey? Which he beat me in street hockey. I'm a goalie and he beat me glove side just inside the post, which wasn't my fault, I'm sorry. I had made my own hockey stick. Mark Andre Fleury. Penguins playoff that they did at the arena. Tyler Sagan, the Dallas Stars, yeah, Riga Bell, bunch of, bunch of trading cards. Let me, let me just, let me just read a couple names here that I have. Curtis Joseph, oh, these are on the outsides. Guy Heber, Sean Burke, Geoff Sanderson, wait a minute, it gets better. Patrick Waugh, Ray, and Ray Bork. Imagine who else I have in there. All right, let's go. Yarmir Yager, 1997. Absolutely awesome player who's still playing today. That's amazing. He's going to be just like Gordy Howe, and that's awesome. Sidney Crosby. Air Puck. I don't even know what I just hit there. Oh, no. Okay, that was, that was sorry, Mark. Sorry, Mark Andre. I got lots of mini sticks. I even have goalie sticks. I have way more than that. And now time for the basket of pucks. It's actually pretty heavy. So let's just get these two king's pucks out of the way. One, two. Then we've got signed pucks. Got five of them. It's so all signed by Wilkes Bridge Grant Penguins. Um, this, these were all signed in like 2009 and stuff. I can't remember who all signed these, and I can't really read their signatures. I forget who signed all of these, but I do know there's a green buck right here, signed by number seven, seventy-five. That's right. Number twenty-four. I do have a Dennis Bondi one here, I think. Oh, this is Aline Nazardine. Ooh, that'll go up for a lot. I'm not selling it, though. So it's not for sale. 34. And number 30. And we've got these two pucks. I picked this up because it was just laying there in the arena when I went. Um, my friend got me this for my Christmas present. I eventually got him something. I, I decorated, he's a Phillies fan, so I decorated his locker with pirate stuff. I drew a bunch of pirates logos 
and my friend gave me a pirate's uh, decal, and I stuck it in his locker, you know, like, Merry Christmas, and it was in the middle of the, towards the end of the year. And this puck, I caught. Alright, now this puck is one of my favorites, because... Now I know who, you know what blot what glove this touch whose glove this touched this puck touched Matt Murray's glove <laughs> that's freaking awesome so sure don't believe I'm a hockey fan huh I still play with hockey toys come on let's go. Okay. Toys for the win. I got nothing. So we're just going to take a look at the scores from last night. And plus, when the Dallas Stars do it, I'm going to be doing even more. So, the Dallas Stars didn't play last night. So. Alright. So. Well, tonight we play against Minnesota. So that's pretty cool. Pardon my allergies, but, sorry, spectacular. You can just sit there moving around, but you're not getting. All right, let's open the sports app. NHL scores. What happened last night? No, I don't care about today. I had that, they didn't even play. I want to know what happened last night. Oh, I know we did. Alright, so last night, Columbus versus Washington. Ha! Huh, in your face, Washington. 3-2. to two, Columbus wins. Which, not to mention, they are actually pretty good. Not to mention, they beat the number one in the Atlantic, the Montreal Canadiens, 10 nothing. They are sixth in the Metropolitan. Alright, Carolina versus Winnipeg. 3-1 to one, Carolina. Oh my gosh. Then this one's surprising. Florida versus the Rangers. 3-2 to two final in a shootout. That's awesome right there. Let me just say. Calgary versus Detroit. Oh, Calgary versus Detroit. Many memorable things happened during Calgary versus Detroit. Not now. Because Calgary won 3-2 to two over Detroit. Calgary beat Hockey Town, but it's okay. So lots of things happened during Calgary versus Detroit in about all of the years. How about the fantastic save by Calgary's goaltender versus Detroit when they were about to score a goal and eliminate them from the from even having a chance to make the playoffs? How about that? How about the time that Jamie McLennan hit Franzen in the stomach with his hockey stick in frustration because they were beating them so bad? How about... Last night, the Los Angeles Kings beat the Anaheim Ducks 3-2. to two. Ha! Boom! Take that, Anaheim. Take it. Take it or leave it. Oh, it's a loss. You're going to have to take it anyway because it counts on your record. Sorry, but... I'm just so happy right now because lots of stuff is happening. And in the hockey world will never be the same. So, because, I don't even know what I'm saying right now, because I'm actually pretty happy that the Anaheim Ducks lost. Now, you know what would be awesome? I don't like the Philadelphia Flyers at all. So you can go ahead and be all weird and stuff, but I don't like the Philadelphia Flyers. So go ahead and get out there, start hating on me, but I don't like the Philadelphia Flyers, and neither do I like the Tampa Bay Lightning. So, boom. And I don't like the Anaheim Ducks, either. So, thank you very much for this video, for watching this video. So, if you like it, um, cool. Subscribe, because I need lots of subscribers, because this is a starting channel, and I'm really, 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 really wanting to be an awesome person, and I really want to know you guys more. So, if you would like, just go ahead and email me at letsgopen17 at gmail.com. If you'd like to email me, just, just, we can talk, just please don't spam me, because believe me, if you spam me, 
I am not a very nice person if you don't. Yeah. So, let me just say this. Um, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, Let's Go Pen 17. My Snapchat is Let's Go Pen 17 as well. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later.